The St. Paul Parks Conservancy's mission is to enhance and expand parks and recreation opportunities throughout St. Paul. The Oxford Community Center, centrally located in the Rondo neighborhood, will soon be a one-of-a-kind recreation hub for youth to play and enjoy for generations. Nick Nelson went out to interview Bill Pesek from St. Paul Parks to get an update on the construction of this state-of-the-art field. We built a 50,000 square foot new facility and now we're on the last phase of our uh, construction and that's the development of a first class athletic field facility. We're putting in new soil and on top of that we're going to be putting in a beautiful new synthetic carpet turf. By putting on synthetic we can run programs, uh, overlap programs and we'll always have a great playable surface. Projects like these do not happen without a lot of support and so the St. Paul Parks Conservancy took on the challenge to ensure that this field would become a reality. So the Conservancy approached the Parks Department looking for a project to fund and the Oxford project was the obvious one for us. The city uh, had remediation problems with the environmental damage and there was a funding gap. They couldn't complete the project. It was a 15 million dollar project that, that we, that was the crown jewel of the department. Crown Jewel isn't a new moniker. Oxford has a long history as a center for neighborhood youth to gather and learn the skills that last a lifetime. One such neighborhood boy, Paul Molitor, was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2004 after an exceptional 21-year career. This place was a tremendous influence on my life because not only did it help me uh, have the opportunity to play baseball, but also come down here and um, having an opportunity to, to grow up as a young man uh, in a constructive way. Uh, today's youth here in St. Paul certainly need facilities uh, to have that same opportunity. So uh, give these young people an opportunity to have some of the best facilities in the Twin Cities and uh, let's get this thing done. To give a sense of the potential of this field, we interview City Council member Melvin Carter III about the nearby field, Billy Peterson Field. This was your neighborhood growing up. Talk to me about Jimmy Lee Recreation Center and why finishing their athletic fields is so important. Well, Jimmy Lee is the place where you know so many people around this city, around this entire community have come. My father grew up playing football at Jimmy Lee. I grew up playing football at Jimmy Lee. Having access to high quality facilities uh, makes uh, the sport uh, and all of the important lessons that we can learn from sports uh, all that more, much more accessible. To find out how you can support rebuilding Oxford Field, please contact the St. Paul Parks Conservancy and let's help make this park a reality.